All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to make a little kit that you can take out in the field so when you find a nice animal track, you'll be able to make a plaster cast of it. So what you're gonna do before you leave is you're gonna put in a baggie about maybe a quarter cup of plaster of Paris. Make sure you seal this up so it doesn't get all over your stuff. You're gonna take an old two liter plastic bottle and you're just gonna cut it into as many little rings as you can get. So you're gonna need a ring for each one of your baggies. I also like to carry some tape with me when I go out in the woods. Sometimes I don't wanna do, if the track's a little bitty, I wanna shrink my little ring up just to fit gently over it and I use the tape to secure it. And you're gonna to wanna to have water to mix your plaster of Paris. And you're gonna to wanna to have a little notebook and a pen with you so you can log where you found your track and some other stuff in the area just so you can have nice documentation of uh, your discovery. So now to move things along, we're gonna use our fun little dinosaur friend here to make a track, just to simulate something we may run across in the woods. Obviously we're not gonna find a dinosaur track, but. So now we found this out in the woods. So all we're gonna do is take a little bit of our water. Again, we're out in the field, we're demonstrating here, so now we're not going to worry with the exact measurements. I'm just going to put a little bit of water in here. I'm going to seal it up. I'm going to use my baggie to start mixing this. I don't want it super watery. Again, just kind of a nice, almost pancake-like consistency. And even though this is a little wetter than it should be, it's still not a big problem. So we're going to set this to the side for a minute. I'm going to prep my area here. I'm just guessing. I'm going to use my tape, like I mentioned, to get the proper size. All right. So all I'm going to do is set this, center it over my track, kind of push it down into the mud. Obviously, if there are rocks and twigs and things uh, kind of around your track, you're going to move them out of the way. And then, I'm just going to pour my plaster in there. And wait. I'm going to go ahead and pour it all just for fun. All right. We'll wait a few minutes and... Well, probably gonna have to wait anywhere from 15 to maybe even up toward an hour sometimes depending on how wet the environment is and wet the soil. But we, either way, we're gonna end up with a really cool cast of this animal track. All right, our animal track has had some time to dry here. So we're gonna remove it and see what we got. Do my mold, and there you go. It's really cool. You can take this back, collect it, you can even paint it if you like, and have fun finding and casting animal tracks. 